Welcome to the NAS GHG Calculator. This screencast will help you get familiar with the application. First, you're going to want to register a user account. To register a user account, click on the register button in the lower left hand corner of the application. You will be presented with a user registration form. Please note that only the first five fields are required. However, by filling in all the fields you will benefit later when you print a PDF report. Once you have created your account, your user information will be displayed in the top information panel. If you scroll down in the leftmost portion of this panel, you'll see the user information that you supplied and the edit button if you'd like to update or change any information. When you click on this, you'll be presented with the user registration form again. You can update your information from here. To change your password, you can click on the Change Password button located in the lower left hand corner of the application. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to use a pre existing account. To log into your account, enter your user information into the login panel located at the lower left portion of the application. And click the login button. Once you're logged in you will see your information has been loaded into the application. To calculate a greenhouse gas the first thing you want to do is select the project type that you're going to be examining. You can choose from all of these radio buttons located in the lower left hand portion of the application. Once you've selected the appropriate construction type which will help pre-populate the other tabs in the application Move through tab by tab filling in all the required fields. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to load a pre-saved project. You can select a pre-saved project by opening the drop-down menu in the top middle portion of the application. Once you have selected the project you're interested in loading, click the load button. You will notice that all the forms have been loaded with the saved data. You also notice that in these text boxes, if you enter incorrect input, the text box will be highlighted in red, indicating an error. If you see any red text boxes, please take the time to examine the data to make sure that you have not made an error. Also, you can select between metric and imperial measurement by choosing the radio button in the upper right hand portion of the application. This function will dynamically change all the values in every box between metric and imperial conversions. When you're happy with the data that has been entered, you can click the Calculate Greenhouse Gas button. This will bring you to a screen that gives you a high-level overview of the greenhouse gas emissions created by your project. For a more detailed report, you can click the Generate Report button which will generate a PDF which you can download to your desktop. This PDF can be emailed or printed and contains a wide variety of information on the particular construction method that you have chosen. It uses your user information in the header, talks a little bit about NAST, and gives details on the construction method, including a breakdown of where all the gases come from during the project. If you'd like to make more modifications to your project, you can go back to the calculator, change some fields, and then save it as a different project. You can save a project by entering a name for the project, in the blank text field located next to the save button in the upper portion of the application and click save. Immediately you will see that this project has been saved into the drop down menu.